my name's Danny. Um, welcome to this week's vlog. Um, you join me on the banks of a local water and today we're going to be targeting silverfish on the pole. It's a closing affair so I've just got my top kit to excuse the wind. A size 18 hook, three droppers number nines to a bulk shot and that's up to a dyno float 0.4 gram pinky and caster float. I've got my Drennan Aqua Elastic. Literally fishing that on my number four section. Under my feet fishing. And let's have a look at the the side tray for the session. So today's side tray, I've got about a pint of a pint and a half of caster, the same red maggot. And I've got hemp, and obviously that's got the hemp oil from the uh, Cheshire Particle, and it's Cheshire Particle hemp, hemp as well. Simple setup, and say one seven line, and a few dropper shots. When I start feeding caster, it's going to be the swim. I'm literally, we'll be feeding caster about there, and I'm going to start with a red maggot on the hook. Hopefully, move on to caster if we get a few bites. First fish of the day, took about five minutes to come. A little gudgeon, always the first fish that always seems to find the bait, but I'm sure they'll soon get cleared off. already hasn't taken long for a different species to turn up. Little, it's a little hybrid skimmer. Normally the first sign of the swim of better fish moving in is the swim going quiet as the better fish push out the, the smaller fish. And if you start getting the better fish then you start the ultimate aim today like is to end up fishing with the caster but start off on the red maggot and then you'll get bites and then build up to actually fish it with the caster when, they, when you know there's a few fish and there's better fish in the swim to be had. There's another one. As you can see. It's a nice roach that it dropped. <laughs> As you can see, a nice roach so early on in the session. And when you start getting a couple of them every time, that's when you can possibly move over. Move over to the caster to try and target them fish. I'm just going to stick on the single maggot and drip feed the caster in them for a bit. There we go. And that just shows how you can build a swim. Start off with gudgeon, a couple of gudgeon, small roach, then the better fish move in. And these are perfect little waters to learn how to fish, how to build a swim, get your float dotted right down and just feed to bite. There we go. Another nice roach. There's been one or two cormorants on the water, and it doesn't surprise me if there's fish of that quality about. They'll happily visit the water to eat them. So another roach coming on maggot. I'm going to say, not quite coming on the caster yet, but we'll keep trying it every now and again. But, yeah. Going well so far. If you've got places like this in your repertoire then you can come and have a good day's fishing regardless of the conditions really always good good things to have 
and worth getting out and about just to find them places that you can come to when the weather ain't great it's raining windy but you can hunker down and just use two sections of pole and just catch a few fish it's not about catching 30 pound of roach today it's just about being able to fish comfortably and get a few bites There's another little roach coming. It's, it's died off a bit. I keep getting a, a cormorant swimming through the swim, um, passing through back and two all the time, which I don't think's helping helping matters at all. Yeah, so like I said, the, the wind is making the presentation really, really hard. Got a couple of back shots on the line, but no, it is making keeping the float going through in a straight line with the, with the toe very difficult your tips constantly blowing all over the place not long of the session left now we've got about probably an hour an hour left so as I say we'll see how we do it has been quiet it has gone quiet but since that cormorant's come through it has it, the, the better fish just disappeared as you'd expect but yeah I say still getting st them type of fast bites which I think are small roach or, or gudgeon but yeah got about an hour left always the way when you're about to pack in fish come back on the feed <laughs> in that always the way eh? Just to add some variety to the net. Good old Billy turned up. Some lovely colours on him. Let's get him in the net. Right, and I think that's a nice fish to just end on. Just coming up to four o'clock. Fish from about one till four, so about three hours fishing. So let's have a look at that final net. Right, so there's the final net. Good mix net, I say. Got plenty, some nice perch in there. Roach, a couple of skimmers, and of course, lots of little, little gudgeon. Thank you very much for watching. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe, and I'll catch us all next week.